Buck's first home game next weekend in Johnson City. You're going to be able to buy a beer. Will you rather be able to buy a beer while watching the Bucks play? For the first time, some Tennessee universities are selling alcohol at sporting events following a recent change in state law. But where does ETSU stand? We sent Jackie DeFusco to find out. Josh Sarah, when the Bucks take the field for their first home game next weekend, fans still won't be able to purchase alcohol in the stadium. But a university spokesman says that may soon change. It's an option we have now. It's an option we're looking into further, but it's a very complex option. A new Tennessee law now allows state run universities to sell alcohol at sporting events. So, what do ETSU students think? I think you could put a lot more people in the stadium. I'm fairly indifferent about it either way. If you're legal, I think it's a great idea. Vanderbilt and UT Knoxville are selling beer for the first time at football games this season after the SEC lifted a conference wide ban. ETSU plays in the Southern Conference, which has no such ban. This will not be something that we're offering this fall at our football games, but we are looking at the possibility of this being something that we'll pursue at, in the spring, particularly with our baseball season. Asked why ETSU is taking longer than other schools to consider this change. We're having conversations with our legal staff while the implications be there. We're having conversations with our food services vendor because that right there is a game changer for them. So we're continuing to look at this and just really do our due diligence and determine what is the infrastructure that needs to be in place in order to happen. Smith says alcohol is already allowed in private suites at Green Stadium. He says university leaders want to see how potential spring sales go before making any decisions for football next fall. An ETSU spokesman says any change to campus alcohol policy would have to be approved by the Board of Trustees before being implemented. For now at ETSU, Jackie DeFusco, News Channel 11.